Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Buena Ventura. Okay, right about here, I'm going to put three fingers and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line across. I go back to the dot and I draw a straight diagonal line to the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal line to the right. I come back to the dot again and I draw a wavy line all the way around and back up, connect on the left. I'm going to do it again, wavy line all the way down, up, connect. I come to the left hand side and I put a straight line down. I come to the right hand side and I put another straight line down. I come over to the uh, right hand side, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down. And I'm going to leave that floating. I'm going to come back to it. I come back to the center part and I am going to draw a straight line across once, straight line across twice. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a triangle. Straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, straight line across. Now, I'm going to mimic those lines and draw them again. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, straight line across, connect. Right above, I'm just going to put a wavy line down and a wavy line up connect and I'm going to draw a small square. Okay, I come back to the right hand side and I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines and I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines and then on top I'm going to draw, come in a little bit and draw a curved line. Right at the very top, I draw a straight line, straight line. I come inside the curved line and I draw other curved lines to the edge. And on the edge, I'm going to draw a little rectangle and a curved line, little rectangle and a curved line. I come in the first rectangle and I draw a straight line, curved line, straight line connect. Put a little straight line inside baby triangle. I come down to the next space and draw a straight line, curve line, straight line connect, draw a straight line at the top, baby triangle inside. I come back up and draw another rectangle on the left, rectangle on the right, curve line, curve line, and down here I draw another rectangle on the left, straight line, straight line, rectangle on the right, curve line, curve line. I come back over here to this section, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, see this is floating, straight line, connect. And underneath that I'm going to draw straight line out, straight line down, straight line all the way to the edge of my paper, come back up to this point, draw another straight line to the edge of my paper. Starting on the inside, these are going to be some landscapes. So I just go wavy line in, out, big curve line up, in, out, in. Let's do a bigger one, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. Let's put a big wavy line over. And let's do some wavy lines, connect, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect. We can add some little straight lines going down. Okay, now I come back over to this big rectangle and I'm going to draw 
curve line, curve line, connect. And I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, curve line, connect. And just put some wavy lines inside. I come back over on this section and I draw a little curve line, connect, curve line, connect. I'm going to put some other, this has a lot of shrubbery, another little plant. Okay, now I come over here on the right hand side. And on this section right here, I'm going to draw a straight line out. And then I'm going to do like a parallelogram, straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal out. Right underneath I draw one, two, three straight lines. Draw another parallelogram, one, two, three straight lines, and then one, two, three straight lines. Even with this section right here, I'm going to put a little square on the left, little square on the right. I'm going to bring down a straight line, straight line on the left, straight line, straight line on the right. Don't draw through your plants. I'm going to add another planter. Straight line, straight line, wavy line up, curve line, curve line, wavy line up. And then right behind them, we're going to do what we call an overlap. Straight line, straight line across, straight line down. Now I'm going to fill this in with straight lines. Okay. And I'm going to finish this line down here by putting a straight line up. And now I can finish my straight lines over. Inside. Let's bring this one down. Inside, I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over. I'm going to put one, two straight lines on the left, one, two straight lines on the right. Straight lines, if you can fit them in, down the middle. Okay, now on this section, I'm going to bring rectangle, straight line, straight line. Put a straight line going across. Straight line up, straight line over. This is all kind of convoluted. And let's fit a little straight line, straight line, part of a rectangle in there. I come back up to the top and right about here I draw curve line, curve line, curve line across. Come up, come up, curve line, curve line, curve line across. And one more. Curve line, curve line, curve line across. Now I fit in straight diagonal lines on the inside going the opposite direction and then the other way. And now at the very bottom I'm going to add straight diagonal lines going across. Then I'm going to cross those because there's a brick it's a brick way all the way across. Now I'm going to come back in and clean these up a little bit and make those straight diagonals all the way down and across. There's a lot going on on this mission. It's got a lot of shrubbery, a lot of brick. The hardest part is drawing it. You can fill in what you need. Now the last single part I'm going to do is come back in and draw a curved line around my door. Okay, I think that's all. Let's add one more straight line going across on the left. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the good thing is this mission is almost all white. So the only little parts that you need to do, it's like these are stairs, so I'm making these gray. And there's a lot of planters, so I use my browns on all of these little details all the way across. I use this brown on my tile roof, and this is a tile roof all the way over here. 
I know it's difficult to color each one of those little parts, but it's important. Everything else you leave white. The door is going to be brown. And these little timbers right here, these are brown. This is wood stuck right inside the white. Then I come up and I do the little dome brown. I do these little side decorations brown all the way down. We've got two bells. If you can make a little green dot, green dot. Lots of shrubbery. These are all green. Your little planters are all green. This is all green. This is all green. I'm going to make the bricks. This is brick. I'm going to make this kind of a red, light red. And background light greens, trees, greens. Add some different colored greens all the way across. Now the background background, I kind of did a bright blue. All of this is blue. And if you can fit in a little bit of blue around your bells, because this is an open tower, you can see some of the sky. So this should all be blue. This one's kind of intense. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's Mission San Buena Ventura all colored in. As you can see, it's got a lot of details. It's really a very pretty mission, and um, the story about it is interesting too. Okay, bye bye.